Well folks, I've been promising to do this for about nine months. This is continuous with our CB repairs on a shoestring. This time we're going to do receive. And I'm going to do two different receive uh, methods on a shoestring. And one is using a new radio, which of course this one is. This is a TTI, what does it say on it, Mr. Chippy? Is it the 60 or something? No, I don't. You don't know, right. Really doesn't matter. Doesn't we're not here to demonstrate the radio. We're here to demonstrate a shoestring budget of setting up the receiver. Right, so we've detuned the receiver on that radio, especially for this demonstration. And what we've done is to buy a dead cheap AM signal generator, 68 quid from China. Uh, conversely, you could go onto eBay and buy, uh, I certainly did a few a couple of years ago, I bought an old valve um, signal generator, which is AM only, and I paid £10 for it. And it works a treat. It's probably a bit more stable than this. We do use this on transistor radios. Um, and I think it goes up to 100 and something megs. But anyway, it's cheap and cheerful. And it is going to work for us. Now the attenuator on that is pretty useless. And what you've got to be able to do to tune a radio. Is you've got to be able to attenuate the signal. So you can't have a whacking great big signal. Because it will be saturating the receiver. You've got to be able to reduce the signal and that's called attenuation. So what we've done is to go out and buy an attenuator box. And this has got switches from 20 decibels to one decibel. We can make it louder. You can now hear that. Just turn the volume up Mr Chippy a little bit. We've got the speaker upside down so we're not, it's not belting into us. Uh, turn it back down please. And then we can attenuate it so that it's less signal going into the radio so we can tune it for its maximum. So because this is AM, because that's a new set, it has got AM on it. So here we are in the UK. Personally, and this business, as far as this business goes, we're only interested in UK FM 2781 band. But because this kind of set is programmable to go onto AM, uh, we've put it into the EC is it EC or EU mode? EU. EU. And that enables us to have the 40 CP channels of FM and 40 CP channels of AM. We've selected channel 40 on the radio. I don't know whether you can see this on the video. I'll just... Because uh, we're at a funny angle, aren't we, up here? Anyway, we put it on channel 40. And so it's kind of in the centre of the band because CPT band 1 to 40 falls lower in frequency than the 2781 band. 2781 starts at 27 decimal 60125 and that's after where um, the CPT band ends. So by going on channel 40, CPT, AM, we can tune this radio. And I'm going to come to how we're going to set the FM detector when we put it back into FM mode shortly. So what we're going to do Let's tell you what we've got here, equipment-wise. So I've already said we've got a cheap signal generator, 60-odd quid. Uh, from I think we've got it off AliExpress, that one. Uh, that attenuator was about £15. And then we've got there a FET voltmeter. That's an old Micron TIG, would have come from Tandis originally. I paid probably about £12 for that. And we're using a FET one because it's got better sensitivity. And it doesn't create a load across the loudspeaker, which is what we've got the FET voltmeter connected to. So if we just show you, can you just kind of, um, what we've done, we've got, just pulling that speaker towards the camera, uh, Mr. C, uh, we've got a Sharman's SW711 speaker. And we've run a couple of extra wires into the back, as Mr. C is showing you there. We've got crocodile clips onto there, and they're going to the FET voltmeter. So as we turn the volume up on the radio, you can see we're getting a meter reading. And it's much easier to read that than if I point at that little tiny solid state oscilloscope we've got set up also across. And I'll just zoom in on that. It's much easier to be able to read that meter than it is to be following that, but we'll need that. To, well, I think we're going to need it to set the detector later on. Well, it, we did have it. It's now on the floor. Yeah. 
by the way that little oscilloscope I think was £22 also off uh, um, what did I say AliExpress. AliExpress AliExpress so if you add all this up oh we're using an ordinary 3 amp Bremi power supply which we paid a tenner for off eBay we changed the capacitors in it and I probably did that on a demonstration video anyway so we've if you add this up, we spent 60 odd quid on a brand new signal generator. We spent 10 or 12 pounds on that meter. Spent 10 on that power supply. 20 odd quid on that oscilloscope. 15 pounds on that attenuator. And we've had that speak and we've added some wires. And so, like for 120 quid, we've got is sufficient equipment. And you can cut the, you can make this even cheaper. You know, there's second hand stuff out there. But this is cheap and cheerful stuff to prove this demonstration. So what we're going to do is we are going to turn up the volume and I'm going to get Mr Chippy to readjust this radio which we've specially unadjusted for the demonstration and what I'm going to do is have kind of that in shot and so you can see the meter as well. So we're looking at recovered maximum audio, that's how we can tune AM. So here we go, turn your volume up a bit and bear in mind if it sounds awful and distorted the speaker's on its face. So it'll go through it several times because they can be interactive, those adjustments. Now we'll turn the volume down so we can... Okay, so I think that's tuned for optimum. There's only three adjustments on this set and then the FM detector which we'll come to. So remember we were on AM, we've set the radio for AM, we're on channel 40 so it's in the centre of the band we want. And that is now tuned for Optimus, so you can pop the volume back down. What we're now going to do is to reprogram the set for FM. So what, are, what we're going to do, we're just going to do that off camera. Um, it's got some strange sequence, which I'll just have to look up. And we're going to put it back onto the 2781 band. And I'm going to show you how we're going to set the deviation on a budget. Just one moment. So I've been to fetch an extra piece of equipment. It's a Harrier WT1, virtually a toy hand portable. There's the Harvard 020, the Alba HCB1, and those three are eminently suitable for what we're going to do. Mr. C, would you like to switch off the signal generator, please? Good. Right, if you'd like to get the radio out of the box, I don't even know if we've ever serviced this. hope it works. It'll be channel 30 we're going to do this on. That looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Channel 30? Or has it got 19 on that? What's it got? 14 and 30. Um, we do it on 14, it's nearer the centre of the band. And bearing in mind we're in the middle of nowhere, um, if it works. Mm -hmm. No? Yes? Yes, no, that's good. Took a bit of battery that way around. That battery so. matches the internal thing, it's strange, right? It doesn't sound like it works. Oh, there right. you are. There we are, battery test light. So what we're going to do, that has a tone generation thing on it. Now... If I hold the radio, oh, look at that. And I've hit, hit you up, Chippy, on the head. 
and you just put select channel 30 on there hopefully when I talk into this oh we're doing 14 aren't we yeah sorry 14 yeah, change my mind, change my mind. And we're on UK. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this radio doesn't work on 14 or it doesn't transmit. Put it on 30 again and see whether that works. Okay, well, we'll find a radio that works, so we'll come back to the camera. Okay, so Mr. Chippy will now show you that we've picked a, a Alba CBH1 from stock, and this is a set we've serviced. It has a green sticker on the back. Turn it round to give it a swizzle. Green sticker, oscilloscope goes on the floor. There ah, there we go. I'll have the radio back, then you can manipulate that. Right, so we've now gone where we wanted. We've put the radio on channel 14. We've put this radio on channel 14 as well. And we've turned it on. And when I press transmit... Now, the reason we've chosen one of these radios is to have this call tone. Battery light on receive, call tone on transmit. So when I press transmit and press the call tone, we get an FM tone which we can set the deviation to, or the um, detector to on the radio. So I'll just show Mr Chippy which the detector is because he's not familiar with this set. Mm. So I'm going to go, we've got this on the oscilloscope screen as hopefully we can see. Can you just turn the bench lights off please Mr C? Might just be a bit better, might not as well. Uh, just zoom in a bit more. Right, so if you adjust the detector, I'll go into transmit on this little radio, and we're looking for maximum. You see, you can minimize it. And that's maximum, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now just hold yourself there, and I'll just put the camera around so it can show the viewers on this radio which the adjustment is. Just put your tool back. It's that one on this particular radio. But um, this is why it's not covering, we're not covering a particular radio to do. We're showing how to do these little jobs on a shoestring. Now, looking at the FET voltmeter, well, like we did with, when we were tuning up the receiver, we're not going to see anything on there, which is why we're using that little oscilloscope. And again, you can be using an oscilloscope that costs a fiver from the car boot sale. We're just using this little solid state one, which is 20 odd quid from China because it's convenient for us. So there you are, we've now set the receiver by tuning the radio into AM, and of course this can only be done with the new multi-standard type of sets. And then we've gone into FM, and we've just used this cheap little Alba hand portable with the call tone to set the FM detector. And I think that's a very nifty way of being able to set up a CB radio with even paying new prices with about 120 quid worth of equipment. So not needing the £10,000 test set and things like that. Now the next video I'm going to do, we're going to do an old type of CB radio where it's FM only, something like a York 861, something like that. Um, and we're going to again use the shoestring equipment to set up an FM only radio. So I hope that's been helpful and useful to you all. Thank you for watching.